Hello everyone and welcome back to Dual Destinies. You guys, I think we're about to hit some major shit. Like I think I think stuff's about to happen. Real big, possibly bad stuff. This is already getting majorly a little more dark than I expected and I probably now think that it's gonna get worse. So everyone had a little bit of a, a thing. Simon is here trying to say that he did it no matter what. And I can almost tell 100% that he's still trying to stand up for Athena. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. I, I sneezed. I'm allergic to all this drama, except I'm not. I love drama. Um, Athena shouted out, she's up here with me. Uh, I guess they're letting her do this. She wants to find out what's going on in Simon's heart because she said that she can feel something. Something is being held back and we've got to find out what it is. Going into Simon's heart, I think this is going to be like literally a big feels deal and I don't know if I'm ready for it. Let me hear the voice of your heart. Oh, is he? Oh man, what's going to happen? I'm scared. <laughs> Not only am I not good at this on a normal day, but like, I, oh, with him, I feel like it's gonna be like, just everything's 100% extra. Okay. I went to the Cosmos Space Center with the intention of killing Dr. Sykes. There's anger there. When I got to the robotics lab, I found Athena there instead. He's happy here for some reason and angry, which seems to be conflicting, but I guess he's happy because he sees Athena? would not be swayed from my purpose, so I waited for Dr. Sykes to return. In that pose? <laughs> I think that's kind of obvious. No one will notice. He's happy about this. This is a bit... okay. Oh! Oh, I don't like that. And then I committed the act. Ow, how cathartic it was. What? Okay. Wait, I don't understand this. What, is, he, is he really trying to play like he's that happy about it? Here's what I'm thinking. Out of all that, it's the second happiness that made me think twice. If he really is managing, or if he really is telling the truth and says that he wanted to kill Athena's mother, why would he be happy seeing Athena? Doesn't he know that like that would be, that just seems very contradictory to what we've been told. His emotions are very guarded and his defenses are way up. He sealed his will as if he'll never let his secrets be known. Well, what are we gonna do? I, we could just press them all until we figure it. I don't think this actually takes health away from you. Oh, I don't know about that. We've got a couple of strong wills on our side too. Prosecutor Blackwell isn't the killer and we're gonna prove it. But what was he trying to do that day? If we approach it from that angle? True, we could look at it differently. What was he really intending to do? I bet we can find an emotion that just doesn't add up. Went to the Cosmos Space Center with the intention of killing Dr. Sykes. I mean, he's angry though. If we pinpoint this, will we maybe get an idea of like what he's angry about? Got it. Try it, I just wanna see what happens. When we view your emotions alongside your testimony, we find the unexpected emotion. Wait a minute, there really isn't anything strange here. I don't know, but I think maybe we made a mistake. Oh, okay, it doesn't really say anything. It's not really like, I've done this before. It's not really like pressing it. They just say it's wrong. It's not like pressing where you could get an idea into what they're thinking. So you just have to be right about it. But at least it doesn't do anything bad if you mess up. So this is probably correct and he's angry. So all we know is that he's angry. And that could be a couple of things. I still think this one's weird. I got to the robotics lab. I found Athena there instead. So he's angry at something, but he's happy to see Athena. Can you talk to me about the happiness? Oh wait, that was it. Because the music stopped. All right. This feeling of happiness. Even though the person you were looking for wasn't there, you felt happy. Why is that? What's he gonna say? Simple, when I was looking for Athena and hadn't found her yet, I grew worried. So when I saw her in the robotics lab, I was happily relieved, merely that. That doesn't seem right, but his noise level went down. Just now, you said that you went to the space center to kill Dr. Sykes. But the first thing you did was look for her daughter instead? Yeah, that doesn't add up. What's going on there? I had no intention of harming Athena. I wanted to confirm that she was safe. Uh, I, I hate to, I hate to bring this up, but uh, isn't harming her mom gonna harm her eventually? No? It was just a part of my plan. Nothing contradictory about that. Oh, I guess. The 
second I find an inconsistency, he cuts it down. Simon knows the principles of analytical psychology. That was the other thing I was going to bring up. Doesn't he kind of know about this a little bit? He trained with Matisse. There's less noise now, but I don't see any instabilities we can latch on to. I was afraid of that. Oh, what are we going to do? We'll just have to keep chipping away at him then, bit by bit. Could you update his testimony, Athena? You got it, boss. All right, let's see what the updated one looks like then. And maybe go from there. Okay, this is the same. Went to the Cosmos Space Center with the intention of killing Dr. Sykes and he's angry. Here's updated. Oh, oh, look, oh, it's a little head pet. Oh, that's so cute. When I found Athena in the robotics lab, I was relieved. Okay. Huh. So that seems right. But I would not be swayed from my purpose, so I've waited for Dr. Sykes. But he's still happy here, which seems a little bit odd. And then when she did, I plunged the katana in. Wait, why is he sad now? Was he sad before? Uh oh, I don't think I paid attention. Was it? This always happens to me. Was he sad before? I don't remember it being that way. I thought it was the same all the way through. I'm gonna pinpoint that only because I'm either stupid and didn't remember something that happened 30 seconds ago or it's changed. The heart doesn't lie, not even Simon's. I can hear that he's trying to hide his true feelings, but they're seeping through anyway. Thanks. That should help a lot. If Prosecutor Blackwell isn't the killer, then there should be a contradiction somewhere. I'm gonna try that last one. Because that, that definitely seems a bit odd. I'm almost positive it wasn't sad before. Alright, let's try it. Oh, okay, that was kind of obvious. What's going on? Not even you can falsify your emotions, Prosecutor Blackwell. What? When you said that you killed Dr. Sykes in your testimony, you felt sadness. Why would someone who had laid in wait to kill her be sad at her death? That's what I'm saying. Such an obvious attack. Yes, I felt sadness, but it wasn't for her. I felt sorrow for Athena and her circumstances. You did? Is that true, do you think? He can't be talking about that, can he? I was just a convenient subject for her research. Oh, is this really what the game wants us to believe? I hope not. I don't like that. Dr. Sykes was so intent on her research, she forced her daughter to undergo experiments. Oh, please let that not actually be a thing. My objective was to save Athena. From an obsessive scientist who treated her own daughter like a research subject. What? Is that real? I just can't tell yet. I can't tell if he's putting that on as the, as the, like, the... As, like, a motive to throw us off or not. I went to the psychology lab first. That's where I would usually find Athena playing. But that day was different. I heard someone crying in the robotics lab next door. Was Athena being subjected to yet another experiment, I thought as I went to see. Conveniently, Athena had cried herself to sleep, so all I had to do was wait and kill. So that's why he was relieved when he saw Athena? But is this story really true? I'm not sure how much to believe. Me too, Phoenix. I don't know what to do. Mr. Wright? How are you doing, Athena? Are you still hanging in there? Yeah, this must be really hard for her, too. I'm a lot stronger than I look, boss. Now, look at this. The noise level actually increased. Wait, that's never happened before. Is it just because Simon's so strong-willed? It went up? I've never seen it do that before. Uh-oh. Prosecutor Blackwell's lying somewhere in his testimony. As a matter of fact, he's piling lie on top of lie in an attempt to make his claim sound more believable. Oh no, so it's as we thought. It's as we thought. He's trying even harder to suppress his true feelings and that's what's causing the noise. How in the world should I approach this? I can either use an evidence-based approach if I can find a contradiction. Otherwise, I should look for an inconsistency in his emotions. Well, I mean, do we even have any evidence that's gonna do it? In emotions, I don't know what that means. I mean, isn't that what we're already doing? <laughs> No 
flaws in my testimony and his boldness is prepared to give his verdict. Give up on this lost cause and let the law free me of these chains already. Objection! No, dude, I'm not letting you go if you're innocent. Forget that. We need the truth, no matter how bad it is, right? I don't think so. Not while I'm around. Now, Simon, you're worth fighting for. Come on. Now, contradictory testimony or inconsistent emotions. Which should I do first? I'm assuming we have to eventually do both. But do we even have any evidence against what he's saying yet? And will we later is the thing. So I'm going to say, because the things that he said, we don't have anything to back up that he didn't do those. We have nothing. Do we? I'm thinking emotions. And then maybe if we can get to his real emotions and he says the truth, maybe we have some evidence that'll go against that. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's look for inconsistent emotions. Got it. But if you wanna try looking for a contradictory statement instead, just let me know. I can easily switch over. Oh shoot, maybe I'm gonna have to do both. All right, let's see what, let's see what comes of it. I heard crying from the next door. Of course, I was worried. So here's surprise and sadness. Okay. Sadness or upset, anyway. This is updated again. She's crying now. Hurried over and opened the door to the robotics lab. Mega surprised. Why would he be mega surprised by this? I guess. Surprised that Athena's crying? Maybe? But he kind of also said that, like, he knew that maybe that had already happened, that, that something bad had happened to her. Like, he expected it almost. Okay. This is the same? Before I could lead Athena out of there, curse my luck, Dr. Sykes came in. Oh, wait, she came in now. Okay, yes. I refused to hand Athena over, so I had no choice but to kill my mentor. Okay. Anger and the sadness. Really, nothing's... Okay. If you see an unusual or out of place emotion, point it out. Hmm. Is there really an inconsistency in these emotions? A little. We could take a break and go back to looking for contradictory testimony. No, 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 no. Let me let me make sure because I think. Let me look at it one more time. I still think I can find an inconsistency in his emotions. Let's press on. Okay. But if you ever want to switch, I'm ready anytime. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't, guys, no. But, uh, guys, I know you're gonna do it. Crying from the next door, I was worried. I could see maybe how here he might be surprised and upset. This is the one that's sticking out to me. The surprise is just mega. Why is he surprised to see her there crying if he knew that these kind of things might be going on if he's telling the truth? I'm gonna try it. That just seems obvious. Okay, the music stopped. How odd. Why would you register surprise at opening the door to the lab? All right, fine. I'll explain if I must. What surprised me was Ponko. That toy figure attacked me. Dr. Sykes knew full well of my plan to rescue Athena, but she couldn't stand guard over her daughter 24 hours a day. So Dr. Sykes had Ponko do it? That's right. She ordered Ponko to forcibly remove me on sight. So I slashed Ponko up with the katana that was there in the lab. <laughs> That rickety old puppet wasn't worthy of that fine blade. Mr. Wright, it's happening again. There's even more noise now. Wait, so he's lying? This is all just lies. He's back to 100%. Oh shit, how are we gonna get anywhere with this? He's at 100% now. What's going on here? Whenever we find an opening, he covers it up with lies. We'll never get rid of the noise at this rate. What are we gonna do? Pretty hard to keep telling coherent lies like that. His mind and will really are as sharp as strong as a katana. Yeah, but that's gotta fail him at some point. He can't keep going like this, surely. Oh, maybe now it's, is it time for testimony now, do you think? Let's try it. Let's try it, let's try it. I think there might be an inconsistency in Prosecutor Blackwell's testimony. I don't know what it is yet, but I have to read it again. All right. Let's give it a thorough check, then. With a feeling of dread, I opened the robotics lab. Okay, so now this is like a testimony. Okay, I see. I opened the robotics lab door. Just then. Oh, there's the robot. Honko attacked me. I retaliated by cutting it into pieces. 
before I could lead Athena out of there, curse my luck, Dr. Sykes came in. I refused to hand Athena over. I had no choice but to kill my mentor. Find inconsistent statement, press evidence. I'm just thinking. I didn't. What are we? Hmm. Are we using the. We're using the testimony and the images too, right? Or are we not doing that? Oh, uh, Mr. Wright? Oh, if you can't find any problem with it. Let me. Let me look at it one more time. I don't even know if I'm on the right track here. Um. Let's see. Probably nothing here. I think we also have to look at the images, maybe. Honko attacked me. I retaliated by cutting it into pieces. Do we have anything about the robot itself? Cutting it into pieces. What do we have that would show... This is in the lab, because, like, there's the chair and all, right? What am I looking for? I don't know. Think. So now he's saying, wait a minute though, don't we have, wait, didn't the testimony before say that he took the robot apart? That was part of the testimony, right? But wasn't it, was it after or before? Was it after or before? No, because we looked at this photo here. There's Panko's arm right there. Wait a minute, but there's blood on the katana. When did it happen? So now he's saying he attacked her first before Matisse was killed? That's the inconsistency, isn't it? That's it. Objection! Oh my god, okay, I almost didn't get it. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the fuck? Compounding lies with more lies is never the answer, Prosecutor Blackwell. Look at this photo. It's a photo of you. Hmm, that's the photo of the supposed moment of the murder, isn't it? That was when we, we surmised that he was actually not murdering someone, but taking the robot apart, remember? How many more times must I see that which damn me for my sin? Well, a couple more, because we're trying to figure this out. The ironic thing is, I think this picture is actually going to be your savior now. See the blood stain at the end of Panko's arm where it was severed with the katana? I hope you aren't claiming it's the robot's blood, Mr. Wright. No, I'm not doing that. No, most likely the blood was transferred there from the bloody katana. The katana already had blood on it? So, then it must have been the victim's blood? That's right. But if that's the case, we found a glaring inconsistency. Uh-oh. Now what? <clears throat> Sorry, dude. I feel bad. You said in your testimony that you cut up Panko and then you killed Dr. Sykes. But, in spite of that, the victim's blood is already on Panko's arm in this picture. What? But that couldn't be. Simon didn't make testimony about that already. I was wrong when I said that. We surmised it. Myself and Edgeworth and everyone talking back and forth. But Simon hadn't testified yet at that time. That's just what we thought. That he was taking the robot apart with the bloody katana. So, yeah, something's wrong here. One of these things is wrong. Exactly. In order for the blood to have transferred from the sword to Panko's arm, the victim must have been stabbed first before the robot slashed. In other words... Prosecutor Blackwell, your entire testimony is nothing but one giant ball of lies. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh shit, oh. You're right, Simon, I don't wanna do this to you, but we gotta get to the truth, boy. Tell the court the truth, Prosecutor Blackwell, now. You're right, Simon, I'm sorry. You, you have no idea what you're doing. Um, his voice. There's so much discord. I'm hearing not just one or two, but a bunch of rampaging emotions here. It's hard to describe. It's like a violent whirlpool or something. You're gonna be all right, Athena. I feel bad putting her through this too. Oh Jesus, you're all right, Simon. Phoenix Wright, you will pay for this. Never have I been forced to reveal so much, but the rest I'll take to the grave. What is he hiding? What could it actually be? This is craziness. Who hides this much? Only really, really bad people. I, honestly, I can't get Kristoff out of my mind now. 
Prosecutor Blackwell, you are on the witness stand. You are obligated to tell the truth. Isn't that the rule of the courtroom? All of these complex emotions, they seem to be flowing from one source. I, I think whatever he really saw that day is what's causing these feelings. Oh no, he knows. He knows something so big. Yeah, he's broken it. I had a feeling this would happen. Following the sound of crying, I open the lab door and then- Oh, it, but it's all messed up. It's all messed up though. So it- Okay, so did anything change? I saw it. That terrible scene. There's Panko standing up. There's Athena crying. Terrible scene. Everything is all broke. Before I could lead Athena out of there, curse my luck, Dr. Sykes came in. I had no choice but to kill my mentor. Hang on, has, before I make this happen again, has anything changed? They're all the same here? I saw that terrible scene. Following the... What are we looking for exactly here? Uh, we're, at, we're at probe now, so like, at, like before. So, um... The emotions are all messed up. That terrible scene. What did he see here? This is the one I want to probe. This has to be the one that has the info on it. There's something here that he saw that's messing him up bad. All the other panels didn't change. So it has to be this one somewhere. What's causing strong emotions? It's gotta be Athena, out of anything. It can't be the damn robot. I mean, let's be honest. It, it's more than likely her. Oh my God, what, what did he see? I'm scared. What did he, what did he see? When you opened the door and saw Athena, you became overwhelmed by your emotions. Isn't that right, prosecutor? <laughs> you should know better. And though it's pathetic, I admit I'm terrified to speak of it. What was it? Prosecutor Blackwell, Miss Sykes is innocent. I will always believe that with all my heart. Now can't you find it within yourself to believe in me too? Is he? Oh my god, I almost thought he was crying at first because my eyes are not that great. But no, he's sweating. He's sweating bullets. I don't think we've ever seen him like this. Athena is innocent, huh? Can you honestly say that you believe that to be true, right, Donna? What did he see? I'm, I'm, I'm scared of, I'm scared. He saw something that probably is going to paint Athena in a bad light, isn't it? If not the worst light possible. Oh, that's the feeling I'm getting from this. Uh-oh. I give you my word. Tell me what you saw when you opened the door. Simon, you've got to. Curse you, Phoenix, right? Oh god, oh god. It was a tragedy. One I'll never forget. When I arrived at the lab, Dr. Sykes was already dead. She was lying on the operating table while the bloody katana lay on the floor. And standing between the two, covered in blood was a thing. Are you serious? I mean, we saw her covered in blood in the, in the movie for this, like in the animation. Oh, the... Oh my gosh. Okay. She smiled with a far-off look in her eyes as she sweetly said... Oh no, oh no. Oh boy. As she said... She said what? Something's wrong with mom, so I'm taking her apart to fix her. What? <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh no. That's what I saw. And now you have it. The truth that you so desperately wanted. Oh, every, everyone's speechless! Oh no! 
No. There has to be an explanation. There has to be. Prosecutor Blackwell finally tells the truth, and this is what it is? It's... it's beyond devastating. I... I tried to take my mother apart. Oh god, she probably doesn't even remember. This is terrible! Athena, I'm sorry! I... 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 <laughs> No! Oh, this is so awful. I hate this. Poor thing. I can understand now why Simon was so inept keeping that. Oh my god. He was trying to save her. That's awful. So it was me? Uh, I'm the one who killed my mother? It can't be. It can't be like this. There's got to be something. There has to be. I refuse to believe this. I can't. Athena. As I said, right? The truth isn't always pretty. Murder. Disassembly on an operating table. A scientist using her daughter as a guinea pig. Sadly, it appears that my theory was correct after all. Objection! What's wrong, Simon? It's true that Athena didn't like her mother's research, but... You dare cast aspersions on my mentor by claiming Athena was used in such a manner? Are you saying that she's not? Please at least give me that little piece of good news. Dr. Sykes could be awkward with people. But she loved her daughter with all her heart. So that's the truth. I'm glad we have it. She loved me? Your mother hated to see you suffer because you could hear the voices of people's hearts. She wanted to set you free of your pain. She worked tirelessly on her research. Do you remember those headphones you hated so much? Yes. My head hurt every time I wore them. Oh, I feel that. Oh. I get it. That's terrible. No, Athena. It's just the opposite. They emitted sound waves to nullify emotional input from the voices of people around you. Your power was much stronger than it is now. And those headphones were what enabled you to carry on with everyday life. No! That can't be true! Then why... Why would I have done something like that to somebody who loved me so much? Her love for you was real. That I can guarantee. That's why I knew. But what happened had to be some kind of mistake. I couldn't let you be punished for it. So, you took the blame yourself. You and your mentor are more alike than you know. Uncle was the witness I put it in the case, held Athena close, and vacated the lab. I threw Ponko away in the boarding lounge trash chute. And I hid the case on the space center grounds. It would seem that we now have all of the facts of this case. Hold it! No, we don't. We aren't even close. No, not yet. It can't end like this. Objection! Edgeworth, please. Do not disgrace yourself, Mr. Wright. The truth has been revealed. Or are you the type of man to turn your back to things that disagree with you? No, we're not that person. I'm not. But this... I can't give up now. I have to say something, anything. Even if it's a bluff. Always managed to pull through that way in the past. I have to make it work. How the hell are we gonna bluff this? Defense is, uh, prepared to present evidence. Oh boy, we don't have anything, do we? We don't have anything. Mr. Wright? Yes, Athena? It's, it's okay. You can stop now. I, I don't want you or anyone else to suffer any longer for my sake. No, 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 no. Don't even say that. I'm going to the end with this. With you, babe. Athena, what are you saying? I killed my mother. That's the truth. It's just like Prosecutor Edgeworth said. 
we have to face it. No matter how much it hurts. No, we don't. I, I, no, I refuse to believe this. No, no, not doing it. I admit my guilt. But you don't even remember. Could I please be granted just one chance to tell everyone what I recall? It appears that Miss Sykes is much braver than you, Mr. Wright. What say you, Your Honor? In light of her courage, will the court give Miss Sykes this opportunity to confess? Very well. Then if you would, please, take the stand, Miss Sykes. What is she doing? What is she gonna do? Oh, boy. Okay. Thank you for letting me do this, Prosecutor Edgeworth. And thank you, Mr. Wright and Prosecutor Blackwell, for letting the truth be known. Now, we can finally move forward, and everyone's suffering can come to an end. Athena. Prosecutor Blackwell will be cleared, and the Dark Age of the Law can come to an end. Jesus Christ. This Dark Age of the Law. That started... With all the other crap. I can't believe we've come full circle on all of this, really. Even the stuff with Kristoff, even. Yes, admit your guilt and bring everything to its conclusion. I killed my mother. My memory is still a little hazy, but there's no question I remember it. I, I remember the weight of the weapon in my hands and the feeling of it stabbing in deep. And I remember the warmth of her blood as it flowed down the handle onto my fingers. No, Athena! Your Honor, please find me guilty. I dare say. These are all memories that no one but the murderer would have. Anyone could have said that, Edgeworth. I see. Thank you for your confession. I believe this trial has gone on long enough. But, before we conclude, does anyone have a counter-argument? We must find- we gotta find something in there, right? There's gotta be something. Is there anything we can do? Objection! Yeah, Phoenix, don't e just don't stop shouting. We've, we've got to figure it out. I do, Your Honor. Mr. Wright? But, Mr. Wright, why? I killed her. I remember it now. Any counter-argument now is pointless. Objection! No, keep shouting, Phoenix, don't stop shouting. Don't tell me you've forgotten one of the basic tenets of lawyering. Always believe in the client to the bitter end. Athena, you are not a murderer. Objection! Sorry, Edgeworth, it's gotta be done. I said that you never changed, but could you have actually regressed in these eight years? <laughs> uh, maybe. You don't know what I've been up to. Wait, maybe you do. <laughs> Probably does. I mean, he went to Trucy's magic show. He's been around, but apparently. I won't stand for your childish emotionalism getting in the way of the truth. Emotionalism? Don't lecture me on matters of the heart, Edgeworth. True! We, we've played your game, sir. We know that you have a heart in there. We know, even if we didn't play the games, we would know. Because I can see straight into a person's soul. <gasps> the Cyclops! Wait, really? But how are we going to be able to do this? When I asked the question earlier about the Black Cyclops and Kristoff, people had theories that it was never really actually, like, you know... It, it, it wasn't officially stated that we got through Kristoff Cyclox, right? But since, since hearing Pearls say about the research on this, which we're about to hear about here, uh, and how it can emotionally damage a person, it makes sense that Kristoff went absolutely shithouse batshit at the end. Because we probably ended up getting through them. And it, and it ruined him, right? Remember that? I don't think that was official. I think that's just what everybody's going with. I looked into those special cyclox you mentioned, Mr. Nick. Athena isn't trying to keep anything from you on purpose. For some reason, part of her heart and her memories are sealed off, even from herself. The truth must be in there. It has to be, but what, how are we going to get it out without hurting her? There's still a chance. Somewhere deep in Athena's heart. There might still be a memory that not even she knows about yet. It might be like looking for a grain of sand somewhere in the cosmos, but still... That memory might contain a new fact that could prove her innocence. What are we gonna do, Phoenix? Is this really possible? 
Oh, I hope so. I hope for everyone's sake that you are not just bluffing, Mr. Wright. Now then, is there or is there not a problem with Miss Sykes' confession? My memory's still a little hazy, but there's no question that I remember it. I remember the weight of the weapon in my hands, and the feeling of it stabbing in deep. And I remember the warmth of her blood as it flowed down the handle onto my fingers. What's wrong with this confession? Think! There's definitely something wrong with her memory of the event. I can just tell. If there's a problem with her confession, please prove it to this court now. With what? This is one of the things I was looking- I was thinking about too. What's this? She was talking about the katana. This is also something here. It has the victim's blood on it. Oh crap. Christ almighty. Um... Here's the katana. The weapon used in the murder seven years ago it belonged to the victim. The victim's blood was- Wait! The victim's blood is only found on the blade! It's right here! It's right here! It's right here! It's right here! She said that she remembers it dripping down onto her hands and fingers, right? And that utility knife has got to come up somewhere because we haven't even looked at that yet. Oh, 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 no. It's got to be this. It has to be. Isn't that the katana the defendant used to kill the victim, Mr. Wright? I respectfully and vehemently disagree, Your Honor. But... I remember it. I remember holding the weapon and getting blood on my fingers. That was the knife, wasn't it? Oh shit, that's still bad though if it was. I can't make sense of this. That's exactly my point. If blood really did get on your fingers while you were holding it, there should be blood on the handle. But please focus on the handle of the sword. There's not a trace of blood on it. And therefore, this is clearly a contradiction of the facts. You're, you're right. Oh my! Oh, rabble time! Get me the rabble! Here it freaking comes! We're gonna figure this out somehow. <laughs> the defendant must have simply confused a portion of her memories. She mentioned it was hazy to begin with, and we can't mull over every minor detail. You just said earlier that that was something that only a murderer could remember, Objection. though. So go on with the self Edgeworth. But she also said there's no question I remember it, a fact we can't ignore. In that case... Why don't you explain what this contradiction with her memories means? G -g Gladly! Uh, Phoenix, I hope you know what you're doing, because I sure don't. Give me a sec to think of something. I want to say that Athena didn't stab anyone. But she said it herself that she remembers the feeling of committing the act. So that it's got to be that utility knife. I mean, it hasn't even come up until now. Think. What could the contradiction with Athena's memories mean? Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop right here for a minute and let you guys know something uh, very important. I normally will not listen to anyone's suggestions on funny dialogue or anything like that. And usually those comments are actually erased from my comment section by moderators because anything deemed as spoiler in any of these blind LPs is technically not allowed. Even if they want me to see the funniest dialogue ever, usually I will not allow it. Um, because that just interrupts the flow of me doing what I want to do in these games and figuring it out for myself. However, my mods themselves that have played this game have left all the comments in there letting me know that I absolutely need to see this thing right here. The blood was wiped off the weapon. I don't believe that's the answer. I think I already came up with the answer that the utility knife is involved. But they said, everyone basically told me for some reason or another, to say this, even though I'm gonna take the hit right now on my on my HP, um, I usually will not do this, but everyone was so damn adamant about it that apparently something really funny happens if I do it. I'm doing it. Never do this again, though. <laughs> the blood was wiped off the handle. <sighs> okay, well, I'm waiting for the funny. Uh oh, I got the hump treatment. You sure did. We get that all the time. I shouldn't have to explain the implications of your own argument to you, right? But all your claim suggests is that Miss Sykes wiped the blood off herself after the fact. Yeah, that's yeah, that's why I wouldn't have picked it. <laughs> I, I knew that. I know that bluffing your way through things is your calling card. But your credibility phoned just now and told me, or told me to tell you to put a sock in it. Oh shit! 
Oh, I see why you guys wanted this. You want to be able to doctor the screenshot. What the hell? Put a sock in it. I'll put something else in it. Yes, daddy. <laughs> oh. Wait, really, sir? You can't be doing that now. <laughs> so now I know exactly what's going to happen on my Twitter feed later. Someone's going to Photoshop that first image saying put a something in it. And then you're going to come up with this screenshot. <laughs> okay. Fine, that was worth it for all the shippers out there, including me. I know everyone hates the ship, but I don't care. Fine, this never do this again though. Because like, I don't wanna like, I don't wanna have the answers put out in front of me in any way, shape or form, but oh, holy crap. I mean, I wasn't gonna pick that. Nobody picked that, right? But if, I guess if you wanna see all the, the dialogue, you would, look at the Jesus Christ. All right, thank you. I needed, I needed that levity in this serious case that I'm going through. Miss Sykes said blood flowed down the handle, but the katana's handle is spotless. So doesn't it follow that the defendant must have used a weapon other than the katana? God, that daddy thing is going to be haunting me for the rest. Now I'm not going to be able to take this seriously. This is why we can't do this. What are you up to this time? P nothing. Nothing, daddy. This is it. Okay, I got, okay, I got to take a breath here. Like, serious time is back. All right. <laughs> This time I found the thing to end Athena's nightmare for good. The weapon that took Dr. Sykes's life was the katana. That much is for sure. So if I can show a possibility that Athena didn't use the katana, it could help me prove her innocent. Okay. But the utility knife did have blood on it though. So I wonder how that's gonna be spun. A different weapon you say? What weapon would that be exactly? Right. Of course he would ask that. Well, I mean, he has to. I can see that you're floundering, Mr. Wright. Did you speak without thinking again as always? Listen, I was distracted because my my community has distracted me. This is you guys' fault if I fuck up now. How does he do that? But I can't back down. Not here, not now. That's right. I did. Because it's so obvious it doesn't require any thought. Good one, Phoenix. That'll work. I'm sure he believes that one. What did you say? Okay, so maybe that was some exaggeration, but there has to be something. There is, there is. Was there some other bladed weapon in the robotics lab that day? Maybe there's something in one of the crime scene photos. Wait a minute, there is something. There's a high probability that that was in the lab. I don't have that particular weapon here in evidence right now, but I do have a piece of evidence just like it. Okay. Other than the katana, this is another blade that may have been at the crime scene. It's got to be this. Has the victim's blood on it from a set of utility tools used by Space Center Tex. Take that! Frickin' go. And if it's used by Tex, and we, we think that there might be a spy somewhere in the Space Center, what if someone was dressed up like a tech with these with these tools on hand? What, what about that? I wonder if that's where we're going with it. But that's the murder weapon in the Clay Terran case. Yup. Yes, this is the knife that took Mr. Terran's life. But there must have been a knife just like this at the scene seven years ago as well. How the hell are you gonna bluff this? It's the only other weapon we had. That was the only reason that I, that, that was kind of easy to come up with it, even though it was in the other case. We still had it in our inventory, remember? We got rid of everything from that other case that we didn't need. The fact that it was still there spoke volumes. Toolkits containing utility knives like this one are issued to Space Center employees. And a robotics lab, especially, would naturally have one of these around. Objection! What are you gonna- I mean, I know it's a little bit weird. I got- honestly, I got so freaking lost by the daddy comment that now- that Guys, this is your fault. If I didn't come to this conclusion the right way, I'm blaming you. But besides the katana, no other bladed weapon was found at the site. It was in the investigation report, if you didn't know. Objection! Uh, of course I knew that. Once you told me just now. Then here's something else you already knew. There was a toolkit at the scene. But it didn't contain any blades. Here's a photo of its contents. Oh, thanks for giving me that now. Why the hell didn't you give this to me before? You're right, I don't see any kind of bladed tool. But it looks like one's missing, doesn't it? What does that mean then? It's pretty convenient, isn't it? It's obvious. Fine, but isn't there something odd about the design of these handles? Yeah, look, it spells the logo, doesn't it? The Gyaxa or whatever it's called. Therefore, there was no other bladed weapon in the room. Objection! I wonder if it matches the one that we have. I bet you that it does. 
I disagree. This toolkit contained a knife. And what proof do you have of that? Don't tell me your eye for art is failing you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You are the last person in the world who should be criticizing my aesthetic sense. True. All right, I'll give you that. No matter what, Edgeworth is the best dressed prosecutor. I'm sorry. Simon's close. Clavier is close. Yes. But... Uh, okay, Shi Long Lang, very close. Or, uh, you know what? Gato, close. Okay, they're all really. <laughs> Damn it! All the prosecutors dress better than Phoenix, okay? There, I said it. Phoenix, come on. G get with the program, man. Straighten up a little, will you? I'm trying to win a case over here. Can you please dress better? Boy, really? No, no, he's simply watching out for your ocular health. Please proceed, Mr. Wright. Listen, don't talk about my ocular health. I can barely see what I'm doing. Notice that the handles of each of these tools have a sort of design on them. Ah, oh, I see that they do. But what significance does that have? It's clear that one of the tools is missing from this kit. If we rearrange the tools into a specific pattern, we might be able to tell which part of the overall design is missing. So, is that the theory your pitiful sense of aesthetics help you come up with? Yes. Don't worry about it. Wait, what's wrong with it? Edgeworth, let it go, man. He's really proud that he knows how to dress. Show the court then, if you would. What pattern or design would we see if we were to rearrange the tools? Uh, what do we have that has the logo on it? Is this the right logo, by the way? It looks like it might be. What does the logo look like? Do we have a picture of it? There's one here. Oh wait, no, you can't see. I need something that actually shows it, like, up close. Do we have anything like that? Um... Oh wait, here! That shows it right there. That is the right one then. Cause look at, did you guys see the knife? Look. Oh, sorry. That was my, that was my D-pad messing up again. The thing that's missing is the red part of the, the, the little Federation logo in the middle. See? That's the part we're missing. Looks like it's all there. Is this what I have to present? Cause that's the only thing that actually shows it. Take that. Try that. And what design is this supposed to represent? Gyaksa logo, Your Honor, it's on all of the Space Center's documents and pamphlets. As you're aware, Gyaksa is the program that operates the Cosmos Space Center. <laughs> Look at how brightly the Gyaksa logo shines in the sunlight above the entranceway. I really dig the stars and rocket motif it's got going. Gyaksa, huh? Isn't that the new name of the Federal Space R&D program? There it is. Oh, I think I see it now, but... Yes, with just the tools shown in this photo. Look what's missing. The red A part of the logo is missing. And this is where the murder weapon from the Terran case comes into play. If we were to place the utility knife in the open slot, it makes the... This also ties in to that the killer was one and the same for both cases. This is brilliant. It would complete the Gyaksa logo. So it would. Uh, then that means... Admit it, Mr. Edgeworth. My aesthetic sense is keener than yours. And while you're at it, well, I don't know about that, but... Admit that the weapon Miss Sykes used could have been this one. Oh! Oh shit, Edgeworth's bra and glasses gone. Blind as a bat, his boy titties is out. Everything's Ed's chaos in here. Order, order in the court. Jesus, when am I going to stop this episode? I'm just trying to stop it in a way that makes sense. I don't even know how much longer we have. Miss Sykes confessed to having a memory of stabbing the victim. Admittedly, Miss Sykes most likely did stab someone using the utility knife. However, the weapon used to kill Dr. Sykes was the katana. Therefore, the act of stabbing that Miss Sykes remembers couldn't be that of Dr. Sykes. But then who did she stab? The perp? The actual guilty party, perhaps, then. Maybe someone else was in there hurting her mother, and that's what she remembers. That could be a thing, too. That's actually very likely now that I think about it. Shit. Very well. Let's suppose for a minute that Miss Sykes did use the utility knife. Tell me. How does that change anything? What do you mean? Of course it does. Come again? Oh, yeah, yes please? Wait, what? What if the katana was only being used as a decoy to conceal the true murder weapon? What if the real weapon that took the victim's life was the utility knife? But that's not what the autopsy said, isn't it? Don't be ridiculous. Are you changing the premise of your entire argument? 
Listen, Edgeworth does what he wants, when he wants, dressed how he wants. I'm merely offering a hypothetical situation derived from your logic. Miss Sykes could have put blood on the katana to make it look like the murder weapon, and then concealed the knife on her personage until Blackwell carried her away. That does clear up the contradiction between Miss Sykes' memories and the evidence. If, in fact, the murder weapon is a utility knife, then fate has dealt you a cruel hand. You have just proven the knife's existence to the rest of us with your own logic. Objection! Uh oh, I see what he's gonna spin here, and I don't like it. I think I already see where this is going. The prosecution is attempting to lead the court. Objection! You're the one attempting to lead the court, Mr. Wright, by forcing us to forget the facts of this case. Need I remind you that there was only two people in the lab at the time of the murder? and that the defendant herself recalls stabbing someone with her own hands. No. It matters not whether the murder weapon was a katana or a utility knife, as long as we know that the victim and the defendant were the only ones there. Well, then that's what we gotta prove. You cannot escape the fact that it was Athena Sykes who killed her own mother. What the? I don't believe it. Why? Why does this keep happening? Every time I find a contradiction, it vanishes and the suspicion keeps coming back. It's almost as if... Almost as if... So... Now you're finally starting to get it. Your contradictions keep vanishing because the charge is true. And the suspicion keeps coming back to the defendant because that's where it belongs. Phoenix Wright, when will you open your eyes and accept the truth? Oh, shit. This is so... Bad. This is so bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. In the next one, we're gonna have to see when I started to accept the truth, but I'm not accepting it yet. I just can't let these go for so long. I've got to, like, make sure that I've got something going on with these episodes. I don't know how much longer we have left. It's spoiler free if you can tell me how much longer. Uh, if we do around 45 minute to, like, 50 minute videos, what are we looking at here? Let me know just so I can kind of figure this out. I, I mean, I'm assuming we have quite a bit left because we still really haven't cleared up too, too much yet. And I think we've got a long way to go. I thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And I will see you soon in the next episode. Toodaloo!